This podcast is about cartilage uh, and about the structure of cartilage. The cartilage shown here is in blue because this slide is stained with alcyon blue. And uh, the first thing to say about cartilage is that it's a connective tissue and therefore it has is composed of cells and matrix. There are few cells and a lot of matrix. And zooming in here, we can see here are the cells. These are called chondrocytes and the chondrocytes live inside little spaces called lacuna. These are really artifacts. The, the chondrocytes themselves shrink during the tissue processing and so they in life they would really fill this space up but they, they look like they sit in these little spaces. When you look at the structure of cartilage you can see that there are single cells in lacunae and then there are sort of doubles and there are, there are several instances where there are more than two cells inside, but you can see plenty of pairs. And this is where the cartilage cells have um, divided and they lay down the matrix. And as they lay down the matrix, they become further away from each other and they then look like single ones. And then they divide again and lay down matrix. This is called interstitial growth. The rest of what we can see here is this very glassy looking material and this is the matrix. And the matrix in this particular type of cartilage, which is hyaline cartilage, is type 2 collagen. And within that there are also lots of glycoproteins and proteoglycans so that the matrix of collagen is made up of type 2 collagen to give it tensile strength and proteoglycans and glycoproteins to hold water. So, collage, uh, so cartilage is like a hydrogel and that gives it its shock absorbing properties. This is immature cartilage. This is from um, a, a newborn. Uh, so therefore there's quite a lot of cell activity going on here. In older cartilage, more mature cartilage, you see, very, you see much fewer cells and a lot more matrix. So one point to note about cartilage is that it's avascular. There's no blood supply in cartilage. So it has a very poor ability to repair itself. Uh, it takes a long time to heal. Um, another thing to say is that there are, there are three different types of cartilage in the body. Uh, there is this one, which is the hyaline cartilage, which is made up of chondrocytes and type 2 collagen. Uh, there is elastic cartilage, which you find at the tip of your nose, earlobes, etc. And that has got, as well as type 2 collagen, quite a lot of elastin fibres. And there's fibre cartilage, which is found in the intervertebral discs. And that's made up of uh, type 2 and type 1 collagen, which means that it's quite tough and rigid and, and is, is better at uh, bearing the load uh, between the vertebrae. So there, the, depending on the different ratios of different fibres in the matrix, you get different uh, cartilage properties. And this one is the hyaline cartilage. And hyaline means glassy, and that's why it looks quite amorphous. It's a bit different from the bone that we looked at previously, in that it's blue and the bone was pink, but in a normal H&E stain, it would, the cartilage would also be pink as well. So probably the easiest way to distinguish bone and cartilage is in these pairs um, of uh, chondrocytes uh, as these doubles. You don't see that in, in osteocytes uh, in bone because they're, they're enveloped in the, in the growing matrix, whereas these are dividing within the matrix, laying down more matrix, moving apart and dividing again. So quite often in, in cartilage, you see these pairs. So that's different to bone. So in summary, cartilage is a connective tissue made up of cells and a matrix. The matrix is made up of collagen type 2 for hyaline cartilage and can also contain large amounts of elastin or collagen 1 for other cartilage types, giving different uh, properties. Cartilage is also avascular um, and therefore doesn't repair very easily.